The next set of examples we're going to do involve finding the greatest common factor, also known as the GCF. Now let's define that. If you're given a set of numbers, the greatest common factor, the GCF, is the largest factor that will divide into all of the numbers. Greatest common factor is the kind of thing you often do when you're trying to simplify a fraction. You're trying to find the largest number that will divide into both the numerator and the denominator of a fraction. Let's move into an example. So here I've got two numbers, 138 and 198. Let's find the greatest common factor of those two numbers. To find that greatest common factor, I'm actually going to break it down into its prime factors. Let's do a prime factorization first. I'll start with 138. I can break that into 2 times 69. 2 is a prime factor. 69 can be broken into 3 and 23. 3 is a prime factor. 23 is also a prime factor, so it can't be broken down anymore. Let's do 198. Same thing. That can be broken down into 2 and 99. 2 is a prime number. 99 can be broken down into 3 and 33. 3 is a prime number. 33 can be broken down into 3 and 11. And both of those are prime numbers. I now have my prime factorization. Next, I'm going to write each of these numbers out as a product of its prime factors. 138 equals 2 times 3 times 23. 198 equals 2 times 3 times 3 times 11. Now that I've got it written out, and I've got it written out in order, our next step is look for common factors. Okay, when I look at this, both of them have a factor of 2. Both of them have a factor of 3. 198 has another factor of 3, but it doesn't have a partner in 138, so it is not a common factor. Only the first 3 is. Next step, I'm going to write out those common factors. So my GCF, my greatest common factor, equals 2 times 3. Once for each factor we've got. So in other words, my GCF, 2 times 3, is 6. The greatest common factor of 138 and 198 is 6. So that is the largest number that will divide into both of them. Let's keep on moving. Let's do another example of finding the GCF, the greatest common factor. This time I'm going to do it with three numbers. The process is exactly the same. We start by doing the prime factorization of each one. So we start with factor trees. Now that I've got that, I'm going to write them out as a product of their prime factors. Notice how I put the factors in order from smallest to largest. I've counted each one to make sure I've got the correct number of factors, because if you miss a factor, it throws everything off. Now let's look for factors that are common to all three. I've got a 2 in all three. Now I've got more 2s down in 144, but 90 and 126 don't have any more 2s, so that's all I've got for common factors. If I look, They've all got threes. So I've got one set of threes. I've got enough for a second set of threes in all three. And that's it. 90 is the only one with a five. 126 is the only one with a seven. So those are not common factors. As I go look at my greatest common factor, I've got a two and I've got two threes. So my greatest common factor of these three numbers, two times three times three should give me 18. So working with three numbers really isn't any different than working with two. You just add one more set of numbers. The same would be true if you're working, finding the greatest common factor of four numbers or five. You just have to do more prime factorizations. 